Hi, I'm Véronique, makeup artist at Cirque du Soleil. In case you missed it, I've been creating the perfect looks for celebrating Valentine's Day, the Cirque way. You can catch up on those looks here in the top right corner. Today's look is New Romantic. For the first step of the New Romantic look, surprise, I am not starting with the foundation. Instead, I am starting with a long-lasting cream eyeshadow in taupe color. The reason why I started with this is because I will work with black eyeshadow. This will prevent from staining under the eyes. What I like about this product is that it dries and it helps the powder colors to grip on it. I'm applying the cream eyeshadow all over the eyelids, making sure that my edges are well blended. The second step will be to apply a rust color eyeshadow all over the eyelid, starting from the lash line, fading out slowly until the eyebrows. After that, extend near the outer corner of the eye, keeping the shape upward. It's more flattering this way. It's important to have a brush that is not too firm. Opt for a round fluffy brush if possible. Before you start applying the pencil, make sure you visualize the shape you want to achieve. Apply along the lash line, thicker near the outer corner. It doesn't need to be a clean line, as we will blend it later. After that, use a small fluffy brush to blend the pencil line. Blend along the lash line and following the eye crease. I also applied the black pencil near the inner corner of the eye. This way, it leaves only the center of the eyelid in rust color. Adjust with the rust color eyeshadow to finish the blending if needed. Next is the black eyeshadow, which I recommend to use with a fluffy brush. Apply all over the black pencil areas to set and give more deepness. Here again, adjust with the rust color if needed. We are now at the foundation step. Here I'm applying two colors of foundation since I wanted a more dramatic look. The first color is a lighter foundation that I'm applying over the center of the face. I'm applying it with a foundation brush and then I will use a wet egg-shaped sponge to even out everything. For the second foundation color, I am using a regular matching color to my skin tone over the outer part of the face. Be careful near the eyelids, you don't want to ruin the job you did previously. Next step, the eyebrows. For this one, I'm using a light brown pencil. First, draw the shape with the pencil. Then, use a lip brush to define the edges and blend out the beginning. I chose a light brown color to keep the look softer, even though I will wear a black smoky eye. Dark eyebrows give sometimes a more severe look, especially when the hair aren't dark. You can correct with the foundation if needed. Next, the lips. First, I outlined the lip with a dark red lip pencil. For more precision, especially if you tend to have a shaky hand, lay your elbow on the table. It will become more stable. And more stable means more precise. Then, I apply a lighter red lipstick in the center of the lips. It helps to give a bit more dimension. Do you see where I'm going next? 
That's right, the setting powder. Before you set the makeup, don't forget to do the touch-ups if needed. Apply the powder all over the face, holding the powder puff like a little taco. You don't need to apply powder over the eyelids. Remove any excess with a big brush. Next, we're going back with the rust color eyeshadow. I apply it under the eyes with more intensity near the lashes. For more precision, you can use a smaller brush than the one used over the eyelids. Then, you can use the fluffy brush from the eyelids to finish the blending. Then, we're going back with the black pencil. I apply it along the lashes, keeping the middle of the eyes free. After that, the black eyeshadow with the same brush used over the eyelids. Apply over the pencil line. This will set it and blend it. While you're there, you can also touch up the eyelids if needed. Next, the black pencil again. I'm applying it in the waterline. Here's a little advice. Always clean or sharpen the pencil before you apply it in the waterline. You don't want any dust or dirt in there. Next, we're going back to the eyebrows. For this one, I'm using a taupe color eyeshadow all over the eyebrows, just to give a bit more definition. Then, I'm using a burgundy eyeshadow to give more richness to the color. I chose red, because the wig is red. Next step is to apply a pink coral blush over the back part of the cheeks. Apply in circle motion to make sure everything is blended. Then, I'm coming back with the burgundy eyeshadow over the dark lip pencil line. After that, I'm using a red eyeshadow over the red lipstick. Then, I'm applying a shimmer highlight under the eyebrows. The next step is my favorite one, the crystal stones. First, apply the latex-free eyelash glue over the lips. Then, with a pair of tweezers, glue the stones over the glue. Apply a few dots of glue at a time. This way, the glue won't be dried out before you come back with the stones. Next step, I'm drawing a black line with a black eyeliner. Use a small firm brush for more precision. Now it's glitter time! First, apply a bit of makeup setting spray over the center part of the eyelids. Then, before it dries, dab over the glitter. Next, I'm using the shimmer highlight. I'm applying it wet 
at the inner corner of the eyes. First, dip the brush in a bit of water. Then, mix with the product. Still using the shimmer highlight, we're gonna go with a big brush on the cheeks, on the bridge of the nose, and above the lip. Now, I'm doing a bit of contouring. I will use a brown shaping powder with a small fluffy brush for the side of the nose and under the tip of the nose. Then, I will switch with a bigger brush for under the cheekbones. Getting closer to the end, you can now look for adjustments. Here, I decided to add a bit more pink coral blush along the hairline and under the chin. Now, I'm applying two heart-shaped glitter under my eyes. I'm using the non-latex eyelash glue for more precision. And now, for the final step, the lashes! I decided to use big and intense lashes for a dramatic look. Here's a little advice. Start at the inner corner of the eye. Then, glue the center part. And finally, follow the end of the black liner. And voila! Your look is done! If you have any questions or suggestions on a makeup look you would like to see next, leave us a comment down below. For more Cirque du Soleil makeup videos, click here or click in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the next video. Also, if you recreate any Valentine's Day look from this series, show us by sharing it with the hashtag Cirque Makeup. We can't wait to see it! Thank you